Hello beautiful people and welcome to the channel. My name's Reverend Debbie and this is the card of the week. Now I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow is um, Ostara, um, the spring equinox, which is where we have equal day, equal night. So it's a fabulous day to um, go out there and spend some time in nature, maybe go for a walk. Um, but also to check out the sunrise and the sunset. And it's wonderful to know that we are now heading towards longer summer days. Yay! Can't wait. This winter seems to have gone on forever. Anyway, the card of the day is the meadow card. And it's all about vulnerability, but not what you would think when it comes to vulnerability. Now, first of all, when we think of being vulnerable, we think of perhaps going outside for a walk and there being somebody who could challenge us or perhaps harm us in some way. Um, and that is vulnerability, obviously. But this card today is all about you facing your own vulnerabilities around your own personality. So this has got nothing to do with going out there and being afraid of other people or, or feeling scared that they are going to hurt or abuse you in some way. This card is about you letting down your guard for a change. Often when we have gone through some sort of trauma, we tend to build up walls around us and not let other people in. Now, if you've been going through a healing journey, it may well be time to take down those walls and have a look at where you are at the moment and perhaps move a little bit further into the future and allow yourself to meet new people, allow yourself to make new friends and allow yourself to love yourself again. Be vulnerable with yourself. Um, you are in a place at the moment where you can take risks in life. So, for example, it's time to buy a new car. Go and have a look for one. Perhaps you've been thinking about studying something. Have a look for a course or a, or a university degree. Um, it may well be that you are planning a new career and that allows your vulnerability to come out because you know that you're going into something that's completely different to what you've done previously. And it can also be the fact that you are ending a toxic or painful relationship. And that could be a relationship with a parent, with a friend or with a romantic partner. Um it's saying to you that you don't need to be subjected to your conditioned fears of letting others know who you really are. I remember way, way back when I was still at school, we had what we called then a civvies day where you could dress up in your normal clothes. Well, I went full goth, uh, black um, leggings, white shirt, black coat, black hair, short hair, done up into like a punky style I wore my white makeup and my black eyes and I probably went completely over the top, but that's me. Did I feel vulnerable? A little bit. And I remember there was a um, a photographer there, a, a journalist there from the local newspaper, and they came running over me to over to me to take photos of me and the um one of the headmistresses shouted, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want this person in the newspaper. And I just think that, yeah, that was me showing my vulnerability, allowing myself to be, be vulnerable, allowing myself to accept that other people don't agree with what I wear or what I look like. And it doesn't matter what you wear or what you look like. It's your choice, isn't it? So others may judge us or criticize us for the way we look or the things that we do. And maybe they'll even put you down. And again, I know being a goth, I've been called a mosher out of car windows and all sorts of things. And you know what? I don't mind because I am. I'm being my true, authentic self. And you can too. But trust that you have the strength and the knowledge and the um, ability to deal with these reactions. So have a look at yourself and where you feel vulnerable and perhaps try to build up a little bit of 
um, strength to that, a little bit of clarity as to what you're vulnerable over. Maybe journal, write it down. Now, on the other hand, this card to me always says you need to go out in nature and spend some time out there. And you know what? Looking at that meadow, looking at those flowers, it makes you just want to go outside, doesn't it? So if you get a chance tomorrow or in the next few days, Go outside, spend some time in nature, looking at the flowers. The dandelions are out now. The daffodils are out. The tulips are coming up. So enjoy this spring. Enjoy the wonderful time around you. So if you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you next time. Blessed be.